Um, come down into a seated position. Cross your legs in front of you and uh, make sure your sit bones are connected down on the ground. Um, you can even reach with your hands underneath your glutes and uh, connect the sit bones that way. And then place your hands onto your lap and just close your eyes. Take a few moments to arrive and um, get settled and get ready for the practice. And just so uh, you can notice your breath, how it's going, if it's fast or slow, because we were talking and naturally our heart rate goes up a little bit and speeds up the breathing too. And just relax your forehead and with your next inhale, just shrug your shoulders up to your ears and then draw them away from your ears. Exhale. And do this a couple more times. Inhale through your nose. And out through your mouth. One more breath in. And away. Perfect. And then with your next breath in, bring your arms all the way up. Palms are facing forward, we'll do cactus this way. On the exhale, pull your elbows in, open up your heart, squeeze your shoulder blades, kind of arch your upper back, but keep your sit bones on the ground. And we'll do this three more times. Inhale, lift. And exhale, pull. Good, two more times, inhale. And exhale, pull. One more breath in. Exhale, pull down. Okay, and then with your next inhale, bring your arms all the way up. And on the exhale, twist over to the right. So bring your left hand outside of your right knee and just look to the back of the room. And connect your breathing and your movement. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And on the exhale, just twist a little deeper. One more breath. And then come back to center, bring your arms all the way up again. And then twist the other way. So right hand outside of your left knee, twist maybe here your spine, adjust a little bit. Especially if you're just waking up or if you've been doing some stuff like I did. Lengthen the spine, breath in. And exhale, twist, look to the back of the room. And then next inhale, bring your arms all the way up, reach. On the exhale, bow forward, bring your hands to the ground, but keep your sit bones on the floor. And glue your fingers to the floor, pull your upper back to the back of the room, kind of round in your spine and bringing your head between your shoulders. One more breath here. And then just walk your hands slightly back and transition onto your knees into tabletop position. So knees under your hips, hands underneath your shoulders. Uh, bring your feet, your toes flat on the ground. Take an inhale, arch your back, look up. On the exhale, round your spine like a big question mark. Cat cow. Inhale for cow. Arch your back, look up, stretching your stomach, your chest, your chin, your neck. And on the exhale, round your spine, stretching your upper back, stretching your mid back. One more time, inhale, drop the stomach. And on the exhale, round it. Come back to neutral position. Bring your right arm all the way up. Like you're trying to touch the ceiling all the way up, 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 reach. And on the exhale, thread the needle. Shoulder goes down, your head goes down, and your left hand walks forward. And you look up from underneath your armpit. Just find this nice stretch and stay here. 
for two more breaths. And then walk your left hand back to center. Reach your right arm all the way up once again, like you're trying to touch the ceiling. And then come back down. Switch sides. Left hand reaches all the way up. Twist the other way open. Stretch your chest here. And then on the exhale, thread the needle. Shoulder goes down. Right hand walks forward. And you look from underneath your armpit. One more breath. And then slowly walk your right hand back. Open up your left arm up. Reach like you're trying to touch the ceiling once again. And then come back into tabletop position. And then from here, walk your hands just a couple inches forward and tuck your toes, press yourself up into the first downward facing dog. So separate your feet, separate your hands, spread your fingers, press your palms to the ground and lift the tailbone up into the sky. And then we'll do a few uh, bends with your knees, right and left, kind of bicycle in your legs, or you can bounce a little bit. And relax your neck. Maybe move back to the back of the room. And then straighten up both legs. Lift up your heels high. On the exhale, lower them down to the ground. And do this two more times. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, lower them down. But keep uh, drawing the tailbone up. One more time. Inhale. And exhale, lower down. And then with your next breath in, lift your heels as high as you can and then start walking your feet forward towards your hands. Come into a ragdoll position. Feet are hip distance apart, grab your elbows and just sway side to side. Relaxing your neck, relaxing your head. Maybe dongle, dongle forward and back, or bounce or sway or maybe massage your your neck or back of your skull. And another thing you can do also is to clasp your hands behind your back, squeeze your shoulder blades and sw uh, stretch in this way, in this position. Stretching the shoulders, stretching your chest, even though you bend and pour it. And then when you're satisfied with this movement, bring your hands down to the floor and start unrolling yourself one vertebra at a time, all the way up to standing position. Once you get there, bring your feet together. Uh -huh. Take an inhale, bring your arms all the way up. On oh, the exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Two more times, inhale all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart. One more breath in, all the way up, reach, look up. On the exhale, fold forward all the way down to the ground. Half will lift, lengthen your spine, hands come to your shins. On the exhale, bring your hands to the floor and step your right leg all the way back. So the knee comes down, I'll go a little sideways. Knee comes down and your uh, front knee is right over your ankle. And then you lift up, squeeze your glutes, push your hips forward all the way. And then bring your arms up. Grab your right wrist and bend slowly to the left. So you're stretching your right side, uh, your right psoas. And then come back to center. Clasp your hands behind your back. Once again, open up your heart. Look up. And then on the exhale, bend forward. So right, uh, left shoulder inside of your left knee. Lift up your hands off the back. One more breath. And then come back, engage your core, lift your arms all the way up, keep squeezing your glutes. And then on the exhale, straight up your front leg, heel down, toes up. So you kind of sit back in a half split. You can um, 
You can stay elevated and straighten up your front leg, or you can flip your toes down. Sorry. Can you hear me? Okay, all right. <laughs> Sounds good. So, uh, left heel forward, toes up, and you can flip your back toes and you can sit all the way down if that feels good. Or you can stay elevated and just stretch in your hamstring this way, leaning forward, but keep your left leg straight. One more breath. And then from this position, Rebend your front knee, press your hands down to the floor, step back into plank. Okay. Inhale, look forward. On the exhale, lower yourself down all the way to the ground. Feet together, hands underneath your shoulders, cobra lift up. And on the exhale, lower down. Good, two more times, inhale, lift. Draw the shoulders back and down. Exhale, lower. Keep squeezing your glutes. Keep your feet on the ground. One more time. Inhale. Perfect. Exhale. And then with your next breath in, press yourself up onto your knees and stretch back into child's pose position. In child's pose, walk your hands over to the right, stretching your left side of the body. Stay here for one breath or maybe two. And then come back to center and walk the other way. Come forward again. Press yourself into tabletop. Walk your hands slightly forward. Tuck your toes and find your downward dog once again. Inhale, lift up your heels. And exhale, lower them down. Next breath in, lift the heels and start walking your feet forward towards the hands. Half the lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold forward. Come all the way up to standing. Lift up, look up. Maybe clasp your hands, maybe push your hips forward and come into a back bend. And then on the exhale, hands to your heart. Do this again, inhale, reach up. All the exhale, full forward, all the way down. Half will lift, lengthen your spine. On the exhale, hands come down, left foot steps back, knee comes down. Your front knee is right over your ankle. Push your hips forward, engage your glutes, and then bring your arms all the way up. Reach up, grab your left wrist, and bend slowly to the left. I'm sorry, to the right. So you're stretching your left psoas. And then come back to center, clasp your hands behind you, open up your heart, squeeze your shoulder blades, look up, on the exhale, bend down, right shoulder inside of your right knee, lift up your hands, relax your neck, one more breath, next inhale, come back up, reach your arms, and then on the exhale, straight up your leg, heel down, toes up. So hamstring stretch, you can stay lifted or you can come down all the way for a half split if that works. But still keep bending forward, bend at your hips and feel the stretch in your hamstrings. One more breath. And then when you're ready, rebound your front knee, Lean forward, hands come down, tuck your toes, find your plank again. Inhale, look forward. On the exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Elbows are sliding by your sides. Flip your toes, upward facing dog. Lift up your hips off the ground, draw the shoulders down. On the exhale, come down, lower facing dog. Hips are high. Three breaths, in through your nose, and out through your mouth. Two more times in, and away, one more breath, and out. Next inhale, lift up your heels, bend your knees, look forward, on the exhale, jump your feet front. Half the lift, lengthen, 
Exhale, fold forward. Come all the way up to standing. Clasp your hands behind your back. Push your hips forward. Arch your back. Look up. Exhale, hands to your heart in prayer. One more breath in. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Look front. On the exhale, hands come down. Step or jump back to plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Upward facing dog breath comes in. And downward dog breath goes away. And here, right leg goes up right away. On the exhale, step forward for crescent lunge. So back heel is lifted. Okay? So come high onto the back uh, ball of your foot. Yes. And then bring your arms up. Lean forward. Squeeze your glutes. Take an inhale. Reach up. On the exhale, open up your arms and twist over to the right. Yes. Inhale, come back up, reach. And exhale, twist. Reaching your arms forward and back. Two more times, legs are strong. And exhale, twist. Each time, maybe twist a little deeper. One more breath. And legs are stable. Perfect. Stay here. Inhale. Lift up your left arm. Reach for the ceiling. On the exhale, windmill your hands down. Step back to plank. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Upward dog breath comes in. Downward facing dog breath goes away. Left leg goes up. Exhale, step it front. Rise up for crescent. Back heels lifted. Yes, arms come up. Exhale, settle in. Inhale, reach your arms high. And on the exhale, twist. Kind of bring in the weight of your body slightly forward. Three more times. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. But the legs are stable. Two more. And exhale, twist. One more breath. Like this. Exhale, twist. Reach your arms all the way. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Your right arm goes up. Lift up. And then we'll mill your hands down. Step back to blink. Hands down, step back. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Upward facing dog breath comes in. Downward dog breath goes up. Woo. Three breaths here. In through your nose. And out through your mouth. Two more. Pushing your hips up. Pushing the floor away. One more breath. And away. Next inhale, lift your heels. Bend your knees, look forward. Jump front, exhale. Half will lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold forward. Come into chair pose. Feet together, knees together. Arms come up. Chair pose. Yes. Squeeze your glutes. Tilt your tailbone slightly forward. Pull your stomach in. Yes, and then draw the shoulders down. Away from your ears, even though your arms are up. Good, and now in this position, squeeze your knees together. We're gonna swim our arms. So right arm circles and left arm circles. Right arm and left. We'll do eight. Good, seven, six, and five. Good, four, perfect, three, two. Reach both arms. And then fold forward. Halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, hands go down. Step or jump back. Flow low, chaturanga. Upward facing dog breath comes in. Downward facing dog breath goes away. Right leg steps forward. And this time we come forward for warrior one. So drop your back foot firmly to the ground. 
and press and bend your front knee. Press your out uh, back of, I'm sorry, outside of your back foot to the ground. Rotate your hips to face forward and then bring your arms up. Good. Both hip bones are facing front. Uh huh. Okay, inhale, reach higher. We're not here for too long. Just bend your front knee a little more. One more breath. And then on the exhale, bring your hands down. Step back, flow low, chaturanga. Upward dog breath comes in. Downward dog breath goes away. Left leg goes up. And then step it forward for warrior one on this side. So drop your back heel, rotate your hips to face forward. And then bring your arms up. And then bend your front knee. Press the outside of your back foot to the ground. And then bend your front knee a little more. Reach up. Hands down, flow low, chaturanga. Upward dog breath comes in. And downward dog breath goes away. Very good, three breaths here. Or if you need to grab some water, do that. We're going into balance in sequence. How you doing? Good, it's good, it's good to be back. <laughs> Okay, so once you're ready, find your way back into downward facing dog. Hips are high. Take an inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, step or jump front. Halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold down. Chair pose. Sit low, bring your arms up. We're not here for long, once again. Bring your right arm under for eagle arms. Mm -hmm. Lift your elbows, draw the shoulders down, and then bring your right leg over for eagle legs as well. So hips are facing front. Elbows up, lift your chest, but sit a little lower. Two more breaths. One more breath. Keep your arms, uncross your legs, send your right leg back for airplane pose. Right leg back. Good. Flex your foot, heel goes up, toes go down. And rotate your right hip to face down. Uh-huh. And then you can stay here or you can extend your arms all the way forward for warrior three. And we're here for three breaths. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Or three of those if you wish. Two, one last. Now bring yourself back upright. Bring your right foot into tree pose. So foot into your left inner thigh. Find your tree pose. So actively press your foot into the inner thigh. Inner thigh presses into your foot in response. And then bring your hands together at your heart. If you wish, close your eyes or not. Your choice. Two more breaths or two more tries. One more breath. And then just shake off your legs. Give them a little release right here. Okay, bring your feet, hip foot distance apart. Okay, and then bring your arms all the way up. Fold forward, but the feet are separated. Grab your big toes with your peace fingers. Inhale, look forward. On the exhale, pull yourself down, fold forward. Elbows are glued to your shins. Head is relaxed. You can bend your knees if you need to. Stretching your spine. Keep pulling yourself down. Two more breaths. One more breath. Okay, and then release your feet. Heel toe your feet out, so make them a little wider than your mat, or just as wide as your mat. 
So straighten up your knees, inhale. On the exhale, sit down into squat. Okay. And make sure your heels are down on the floor. Clasp your hands, bring your hands in front of you uh, in prayer and push your elbows inside of your knees, kind of opening your knees. Lift up your chest and you can sway side to side if that feels good. Good. Okay, and then here, stay here. Bring your right hand out on the floor, like forward, and push your uh, right shoulder kind of into your inner knee, so inside of your right knee. And then open up your left arm up. Reach up to the ceiling. So that's another twist here, but in the squat, in a seated position. Okay, come back to center and switch sides. So left shoulder goes inside of your knee, left hand goes down on the floor, and just open sideways the other way. Look up, keep your heels on the ground. One more breath. Come back to center. Straighten up your legs, heel toe your feet together, and then roll yourself back up into standing position. Shoulders up, shrug them to your ears, and then draw them away. Do this one more time. Um, and then bring your arms all the way up again. Come down into chair pose, knees together, feet together, chair pose. Squeeze your inner thighs, squeeze your inner knees, squeeze your glutes. Bring your left arm under for eagle arms. Mm -hmm. And lift your elbows, draw the shoulders down. And then draw your left leg around for eagle. So settle down into this nest. Rotate both of your hips to face forward. And connect your breathing and the movement so elbows go up. And shoulder goes down. Both shoulders go down. Two more breaths. One more breath. Okay, and then keep your arms uncross your legs. Send your left leg all the way back for uh, airplane pose with eagle arms. Heel goes up, toes go down, rotate your left hip to face down. And then if you wish, extend your arms forward for warrior three. So, but keep pulling your stomach in. I'll go sideways to show it. Lift up the heel, rotate your left foot down, right, left hip down. Good, one more breath. And then propel yourself back up to stand and left leg goes into your right inner thigh with tree pose. Tree pose. And then this time for the arms, let's go all the way up. So it's a blossom and tree. Push your foot into your inner thigh, push your inner thigh into your foot. And then imagine that there is a wind outside, so you kind of go side to side, or your branches go all over. Just move your arms forward, back, side to side, whatever feels like a good wind around you. And then one year, once you're tired of this wind, straighten up your arms, and then release your legs, shake them out. Good. Separate your feet hip with distance apart. One more time, bring your arms all the way up. Uh -huh. Fold forward, slide your hands underneath your feet for gorilla pose. And wiggle your toes, massaging your wrists. Relax your neck, relax your head. Good. Couple more breaths. One more breath. Release your hands, take them out from underneath your feet. Bring your feet together. Roll yourself up. 
one wherever at a time. Shoulders are the last ones to come up. Okay, we'll do a little bit, a little bit of conditioning here. So keep your feet together. Take an inhale, send your seat down, lift your arms up, come into uh, chair pose, kind of, but then come back up to stand it. So it's a squat, chair squat. So we go down and then we go up. Inhale, we go down. Exhale, we go up. Good, five more times. Sit down, keep your knees together. Exhale, uh, come up. Good, four more, sit. And then go up. Perfect. And then three. And up. Good, two more. And up. One last time. So we go down, 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 down. Keep going down. Weight is in your heels. Lift up your toes. And then sit all the way down onto your butt. Both toes. Namasana. Good. So straighten up your legs if you can. Bring your arms parallel to your thighs. Point your toes. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We keep this position. Lower down your right leg. Come back up. Lower down your left leg. Come back up. We'll do eight more times. Right leg. One leg at a time. Keep your core engaged. Left leg. Uh-huh. Up. Right leg. And left leg. Four more. Good. Three. Perfect. Two. One last time. Hug your knees and lay down on your back. Good job. Lay down on your back. But we're not done with core. We'll just do core a little differently today. So bring your knees when you're ready. Bring your knees above your hips. Bring your hands to your temples. Press the lower back to the floor. Take an inhale. Lower down your toes to touch the ground. On the exhale, curl yourself up in a ball. Elbows to your thighs. So lower down. Knees are 90 degrees. Exhale, pull in. Inhale, lower. Exhale, pull in. Inhale, lower. Good, exhale, pull in. Keep your knees at 90 degrees, so lift your heels up a little bit. Uh, and up. Three more times, inhale. Exhale, yes. Two more. Okay, one more time. And hug your knees, good job, rest. Okay, and now land your feet wider than your mat, and just swish and wipe your knees side to side, stretching your hip flexors. Couple more times here. And then when you're ready, re-hug your knees, pull them in close, start walking yourself forward and back, gain some momentum, and when you're ready, just jump into plank, hands down, jump back. Uh-huh, inhale, look forward. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Upward dog breath comes in. Downward dog breath goes away. Hips are high. Good. Stay here. Two more breaths. One more breath. Okay. With your next inhale, lift your right leg all the way up. On the exhale, step it forward for warrior two. So you're going to land your, I'm going to go sideways, you're going to land your back foot to the floor and press your back heel to the ground but your front knee is right over your ankle. Open up your arms. So this time you're facing kind of sideways except for your knee. And notice if your knee collapses inward, send it slightly to the right. And then sit a little lower. Couple more breaths. One more breath. Good. Next inhale, reverse, look up. Keep your legs not moving. On the exhale, bring your elbow to your thigh. Extended side angle. So bring this left bicep to your ear. Bring the hand to, towards the upper corner of your room. So imagine you draw in a straight line. So you don't have to go all the way down. 
Uh, put your elbow, yes, uh-huh. And now lift your arm up and then go diagonal, go forward, arm goes forward, more forward. Yes, perfect. Now lift it up a little higher, just a little higher. Yes, perfect. So this uh, straight line from your ankle to your fingertips, look up from underneath your armpit. And now keep your legs not moving, nothing has changed here. Just bring your hand behind your back and place it onto your right thigh. Look up, rotate your right shoulder up. And if you want a little extra core strength, lift up your right arm diagonally. Up, yes. Two more breaths. One more breath. Okay. Uncross your arms, come back to warrior two. And then sit a little lower. Sit, 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 sit. Inhale, reverse, look up. And now windmill your hands down, come into three-legged dog. Right leg goes all the way up. Bend it, shake it, circle it, do whatever you need to do to bring it some release. Uh-huh. And when you're ready, straighten up this leg, toes up to the ceiling, take an inhale. On the exhale, bring your right knee to touch your right elbow. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, knee to your right elbow. Two more times, inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to elbow. Yes, one more breath. Knee to elbow. Extend the leg, lift at the highest, bend your knee, flip your dog. So land your right leg down on the floor, straighten up your left leg, and look up. So arch in your back. Let me see. Uh huh. So bend, uh, straighten up your left leg. Straighten it up. Yes, straight. Perfect. And then bend your right knee a little more. Yes, and now push your hips up. Perfect, very good. This is the position I want you to be. One more, pu one more push up. And then come back to center plank. Yes, center plank. And then bring your heels down to the right. Bring your left arm up, side plank. Side plank, very good. Push the floor away. Two more breaths. Look up. One more breath. And then come back to plank, chatter on the lower down. Upper dog breath comes in. Downward dog breath goes away. Woo. Good job. Three breaths or water break if you need to. We only have to do the other side and then we're going down on the ground. Okay, once you're downward dog, take your left leg up. And then step it forward for warrior two. So drop your, back, drop your back foot on the ground. Heel down to the floor. Front knee right over your ankle. Engage your inner thighs, bring your arms out. Draw the shoulders down. Imagine you're trying to pull the ends of your mat together with the strength of your legs. Only the mat is not moving. Okay, inhale, reverse. Extended side angle. Elbow goes down to your thigh. Bicep to your ear, look up. So one straight line from this ankle, through the knee, through the hip, through the shoulder, towards your fingertips. So lift up your chest, so don't collapse into the thigh, lift up, uh-huh, perfect. And now bring this hand behind your back, place it onto your thigh, open up, good. And if you want a little extra, lift up. So you're still drawing this straight line, but only now it's from this fingers, uh, this set of fingers all the way to your ankle. One more breath. Uh-huh. Come back to warrior two. Exhale, sit lower. Woo, inhale, reverse. Windmill your hands down, three-legged dog. Woo. Bend, shake, release your leg. Release that hip. 
push the floor away. And when you're ready, straighten up the leg, toes to the sky, inhale. Exhale, knee to touch your left elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to elbow. Two more times, lift. Aha, uh -huh, knee to elbow. Touch it. One more breath. Touch it in. Perfect, go up, leg the highest, bend your knee, open up your hip, bend this left leg, yes, and then as you're bending, just be, uh, land this foot down on the ground, land it behind you, yes, yes, and then straighten up your right leg, push your hips up, good, but bend your, bend your left leg, bend it, no, left, left leg, Yes, perfect. Even more, even more. Yes, and then straighten up your right. Yes, now see, it's more comfortable. Push your hips up. Push your tailbone up. Very good. One more breath. And then come back to center plank. Down to plank. Feet together. Draw your heels over to the left, right arm goes up, side plank. Open. Look up, two breaths. One more breath. And come down to plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Upward dog breath comes in. Downward dog breath, breath goes away. Whoo. Inhale, shift your way forward to plank. And then lay down all the way to the ground. Whoo. All the way to the floor. Relax. Relax. Bring your arms alongside your body. Maybe place your one cheek down on the floor if that feels good. But then when you're ready to move again, bring your chin back to center. Bring your feet together and clasp your hands behind your back. So bring them together so much that not only your fingers are touching, but the pillows of your palms are touching together. Okay, now inhale, lift up your chest, squeeze your shoulder blades. Exhale, lift up your legs, keep your feet together and see if you can lift them without bending your knees and continue this pattern. Inhale, lift up your chest, exhale, lift up your legs. Two more. One more breath. And then lower down, Woo! good job. Perfect. Release your hands. Relax your head. Maybe place the other cheek down on the floor. When you're ready to move again, bring your chin back to center. Bend both legs, bend both knees. Grab the outsides of your feet for bow pose. So draw the knees towards each other. They don't have to touch, but just don't let them flare open. Take an inhale, lift up the chest. On the exhale, kick your legs into your hands and lift up the knees. And then again, continue this pattern. Inhale, lift chest. Exhale, lift legs. Two more breaths. Oh, one more breath. And lower down. Good job. Keep your knees bent. Windshield wipe your knees side to side or your legs. Massaging your quads and releasing your sacrum. And then straighten up your legs. Land your hands underneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes. Take a breath in. On the exhale, press yourself up into high plank. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, engage your core. Jump your feet forward. Whew. And then lay down on your back. Lay down on your back. Yes. Just lay down. Whew. We're going into bridge. So bend your knees, feet are hip width distance apart. Press your heels to the ground and lift up your tailbone into the sky. And then clasp your hands underneath your shoulders. Roll into the outer edges of your shoulders. 
and stay here. So squeeze your shoulder blades together. Look up and push through your hips. Through your heels, I'm sorry, but hips go up. Stay. Couple more breaths. One more breath. And then slowly lower yourself down. Bring the soles of your feet together and knees wide. For soup Tabata, elbow and knees go wide. And just close your eyes and you can sway your hips side to side if that feels good. together, hug them into your chest, and then grab the outsides of your feet once again for happy baby. So heels are over your ankles, over your knees, and then start pulling your feet towards the floor, knees towards the armpits, and tailbone down towards the floor. And if it feels good, you can sway side to side here as well. And then slowly let go of your feet, bring your knees together, open up your arms wide in the T position, and then draw your knees over to one side for spinal twist. Either side, it doesn't really matter, but draw the shoulders down so both shoulders are touching the floor and look to the opposite direction of your knees or opposite direction from your knees and then come back to center and twist over to the other side and look the other way shoulders down slowly come back to center once again and then pull your knees to your chest rock and roll forward and back and come up into seated position straighten out your legs in front of you so legs go in front go ahead and uh, reach underneath your uh, glutes so your sit bones are down on the floor and then bring your right uh, right foot outside of your left knee. I'm not mirroring you, so my right is your left, but um, yeah, you got it. Uh, left elbow outside of your right, so you twist in the opposite direction. It's a little similar to what we did at the beginning, but only it's a little bigger uh, twist, and you feel it in your IT band as well. So once again, lengthen your spine when you breathe in, and twist deeper when you breathe that way. One more breath. And then come back to center, the same leg, foot goes into a seated tree pose. Yeah, sit bones are still on the ground. Bring your arms all the way up, inhale. On the exhale, bend forward. So try to bend a little more at your hips and not at your upper back. You can grab your ankle, you can grab your foot, whatever works, and just pull yourself down. It's a hip opener, it's a hamstring stretch, and it's a spinal stretch because you, uh, kind of spinal decompression, I wanna say, because you're pulling yourself and stretching your spine as well. 
one more breath or two if it feels good and then slowly come back up straighten up your leg and switch sides left foot goes across make sure your sit bones are still on the ground the right arm goes up and then twist push your elbow into your knee and move your knee yes inhale lengthen your spine exhale twist deeper look to the back of the room is your mind lost somewhere like a train without a rest one more breath And then come back to center. Foot goes into your inner thigh. Tree pose. See the tree pose. Bring your arms up. Inhale. On the exhale, bend forward. Once again, you can grab your shin, your ankle, your foot, or anything that works. And pull yourself down. yourself up straighten up both legs in front of you once again make sure your sit bones are down on the ground bring your arms forward I'm, I'm gonna go sideways so you can see uh, the back so take an inhale draw the shoulders back and down lengthen your spine and on the exhale round your spine like a big question mark do this three more times inhale draw the shoulders down exhale round Two more. And round up. One more time. And then round. And keep rounding here. Start roll of lowering yourself down slowly on the ground, all the way down until you reach the floor. And once you get down on the floor, just straighten up your legs, separate your feet, palms are facing up. Draw the shoulders down, away from your ears. Good. And take a deeper inhale here. And maybe soundful exhale. And with your next inhale, shrug your shoulders up to your ears. And on the exhale, actively draw them away. One more breath. And out. And just take a few moments, a few cycles of breaths, breath, to rest here in Shavasana.
one more time. Wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Maybe give a few rolls to your, to your ankles and to your wrists. And then just turn yourself into, or propel yourself right up to seated. And then bring your hands in front of you in prayer. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Sound full exhale through your mouth. Two more breaths in through your nose. Out away. One more breath. And out. Comes to your third eye center at your forehead. Inhale. Exhale, bow forward. Namaste. Thank you very much.